Hello everyone. In the previous session, we learned about while activity. In this session, we are going to learn about do while activity. What is do while activity? Do while activity enables you to execute a specific part of your automation while a condition is met. When the specific condition is no longer exist or met, the project exists the loop. I hope while and do while looks are similar, correct? Don't get confused with these two things. I will explain you the main difference for the do while and the while. The main difference between do while activity is that first it will execute the body part and then it will check the condition. Whereas while activity first check the condition, if it is true, then only the body will go, uh, body part will execute. So it is happening in the reverse format. In while activity, first it will check the condition and then it will execute the body part. Whereas do while, first it will execute the body part and then it will check the condition. So at least one time while using do while, it will be the body part will execute mandatorily or compulsory. Okay. Now let me switch to your path studio. In the previous session, we learned about the while activity. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to my project. I'm going to add one more process by clicking on add and sequence. I'm going to do do while activity. I'm just giving the name over here as do while activity and the location is default, which I have already given. And then I'm going to creating it by clicking on create button. Now, what I'm going to do, let me drag and drop the do while activity from the you know, activities to my panel. Let me select this. You can see in the previous one that we are already having workflow. Under workflow, we are having control. Under control, we are having do while and while. In the previous session, we have already learned about the while. Right now, we are going to do do while. Let me drag and drop onto my screen or onto my panel. Now, if you see the do while, so first it will execute the body and then it will check out the condition. So now I'm going to use the same kind of uh, variables which have been used while the while activity. Okay, if you didn't watch, uh, you know, while activity, please go to the previous video and please watch the while activity. And now what I'm going to do, and again, to get the count values, right? I'm going to use the same kind of use case. I want to display, you know, Welcome to hello world for nine times to based on the condition. Okay, now what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to assign a value. So what I'm going to, I'm just drag and drop my assign value onto my panel. Now I'm just giving the same variable. How can I go ahead? Control K to set the variable and I'm just giving as count. Let me click on enter. Now I'm going to start with now I'm going to assign the value of the count value as zero. Now let me go to variables. Now I have the variable type as string. Now let me change it to in 32 from the properties because of I'm going to check the condition is less than 10 or some other values, right? Now, if you see over here, so now I'm going to use the same message box. Let me drag and drop the message box over here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the count itself, count dot to string, how we have done in the same previous session, I'm going to do the same way. So count dot to string, and I'm going to concatenate, displaying a message plus space, and I'm just giving concatenating again with welcome to hello world okay and then i'm not so i have done the you know message box i want to display the count value zero or whatever it may be which has been assigned and then you know i'm going to display welcome to hello world so now the condition is that count is less than 10 First, the body part will be executing in the do while, and then after once it has been executed, it is going to be, you know, checking the condition. So now I'm not going to be increasing as of now. I will show, or else 
let me go ahead let me assign right away let me drag and drop assign on to after you know message box now what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the count value by one count equal to count plus one i'm going to increasing the values okay so in the same activity itself i am going to complete both the things let me go ahead let me save it now let me go ahead let me run the bot now we will see what will happen okay so in the while activity we got only for 10 times right over here we will see how many times that we will get it so it will be start from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you can see after execution it has been failed so it is nothing but it is coming out of the loop okay here also it has been checked out and then it is going to be displaying now even then what is the difference over here now let me show you over here i'm going to say count is less than zero okay but even after the condition has been failed this message body has been executed once let me show you that let me go ahead let me execute once let me execute the bot now if you see over here zero errors and now you can see zero zero welcome to world and then after once it has been displayed it is going to be checking out the condition count is less than zero correct now let me go ahead and we see that now even in the while activity what will happen first it will check the condition if it is true then only it will execute the body part but over here the do while first it will execute body part and then it will check the condition okay at least one time the body will execute even if it is true or false it will execute one time at least body part in the do while activity that is the major difference for the both while activity and the do while activity i hope you understand the difference between while and do while activities in the ui path thank you for watching ui path tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day